Unit Two. It's Bando Party Time. Reading. Today, my Taiwanese friend Yu Kai invited me to a Taiwanese banquet. He called it Bando. It was actually his brother's wedding banquet in Neiman, a rural area of Gaoshang. He said that Neiman is the home of Bando, and I was happy to have my first Bando experience. When we arrived, a plastic tent on the roadside caught my attention. A number of round tables and iron stools were under the tent. I saw the color red everywhere. When I looked around the tent, I discovered a bright stage at one end. I also noticed a very interesting thing. There was an outdoor kitchen. The cooks were busy preparing the meal. I heard them chopping ingredients, and the air was filled with delicious smells. Pop, pop, pop! People set off some firecrackers, and the bando began. There were twelve dishes in total, and they were delivered to the tables one by one. These dishes were all decorated like beautiful works of art. Yukai told me that each dish usually has a special meaning. For example, the seafood platter means being together, and the chicken soup means starting a family. All of these dishes serve as a blessing to the newly married couple. During the meal, we watched the singers perform on the stage. Then, all of a sudden, a woman put some plastic bags on our table. I was surprised that the guests started to pack all of the leftovers into the bags. Yukai explained that guests could take food home from bandos. He also encouraged me to grab some of my favorite fried taro balls. In the United States, wedding banquets are usually buffets. People also don't take the food home from weddings. Because of this bando experience, I am so impressed by the hospitality of Taiwanese people. Now I am having my taro balls and watching my new bando video on YouTube. Oh, a new comment is coming in, and it is from the chef of today's bando. He really loves my video. And he is inviting me to another one next time.